You want it to play Valorant, you double click the Valorant icon, but instead of the game, you see this. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you how to fix it, but here's the deal. I tell you how to fix it, and you subscribe to the channel. Alright? It's free. Come on. Anyways, let's begin. So, first things first, you need to go to the search bar and type system information. And in here, you need to check the BIOS mode. It should be UEFI. If it is UEFI, great. Then you can go ahead and close it. Next, type tpm.msc. And in here, this will tell you whether your TPM is enabled or not. It is disabled, no worries. Close this and go ahead and restart your PC. And when restarting your PC, keep spamming delete on your keyboard. Uh, for different manufacturers, the key might be different to enter the BIOS. For some cases, it is escape, F1, F11, F12, but most commonly it is delete. So yeah, keep spamming delete when the PC is restarting and you should enter the BIOS section. One thing I wanted to tell you is that I do not have a second monitor. So the BIOS section that I'll be showing you on how to change the BIOS settings will be not very high quality since I'll be recording it by phone. But yeah, bear with me. Once you're in the BIOS, this is how it's going to look like and it's not going to be the same for everyone. So don't worry. The settings are going to be the same. So go to settings, then advanced. Once you're in the advanced section, go to Windows OS configuration and in here you will find secure boot. So click on secure boot. By default, it must be disabled. So go ahead and enable it. Once it is done, secure boot mode, you can set it to standard and it should be standard. Just in case it is not, go ahead and change it to standard from custom. Then we can either head back or just directly go to settings and go to security. In here, you will find trusted computing. So click on trusted computing and security device support is disabled by default. So go ahead and enable it and AMD FTPM switch enable this one as well. And if you're an Intel user, the name might be different, but you will get, but you will know what FTPM is. Once it is done, just close the BIOS. It will give you an option to save. Just hit yes. And then the PC will restart and you can go ahead and launch the game normally. So this is how you fix the secure boot and TPM 2.0 error. This wasn't much difficult, but many of you might have been facing this problem. So I thought I should make this video. And if it helps, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And yeah, stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching.